Hello friends, and today I will be talking about uh, some of the top free web hosting providers. Now if you do a quick search for free web hosting, you will find the top non-paid link would be for 000 web host. But in this particular host, there is one a little problem. You actually have to set up a subdomain for uh, 000 web host and then point your actual domain's DNS to this particular subdomain so that the website can work on your domain also. So that's the basic problem that I find with uh, 000 web host. So I'm not considering uh, this particular web host in, in my video. There are other problems with it as well. It does not uh, give you as many features. Uh, but uh, that one particular problem is the major one. So I'm not going to consider it in this video. Uh, now coming to the other web hosting that I will be listing out in this video. The first one would be Hostinger. The second one is Byatt Host, then Gogi Host, then Amazon. Now, starting with Hostinger, which is my least favorite on this particular list, the first thing is that they offer 2 GB of uh, disk space. This is how their panel looks. This is a normal panel, which they call C panel. Probably, if you pay for the services, you will get an actual C panel. And this is how the interface looks. For their panel, within their services, they provide 100 GB of bandwidth, 2 GB of uh, data. They provide five email accounts. Now, for these email accounts to verify the ownership, Google checks two things, which are uh, SPF and DKIM. Now, if you do not have a DKIM setup, uh, the Google will not identify uh, your email as safe, and they will probably forward it to the spam folder. You can read more about. Uh, this stuff just by simply typing SPF and DKIM you will be able to read more about it uh, so Hostinger they do not provide DKIM you can set up SPF but they do not have an option to set up DKIM which is a lot more secure than SPF now for these particular email accounts the POP3 is available for all the four service providers IMAP which is basically you need to set up uh, your email accounts on another device or on Outlook uh, on your phones. A hostinger service provider, they do not have that option. They also do not have an option to install a self signed SSL or uh, a SSL which you have bought from outside or let's encrypt. So that's the reason it's on fourth on my list. The next, which is there on my list, is buy it host. Now, uh, there is only one problem with bias, buy it host that is uh, they do provide you with unlimited storage, unlimited transfer, uh, unlimited emails, but there is one problem with that which is a major problem. They limit your unlimited uh, access with the number of I nodes or E nodes, uh, which is basically they uh, limit the number of files that you can have on their system. As you can see here, on my account, I only have 39 MB of space used, but I've already used up 10% of iNodes because I have a lot more files. I have smaller files, but a lot more files on the on the disk. So if you have bigger files, uh, that could work for you. But if you are planning to install like WordPress or something, you would run out of iNodes very quickly. So that's the main thing that I find uh, prob problematic with Byatt Host. Uh, other thing which are good about Buy It Host is that they offer you to install a self-signed SSL or you can also install any other SSL if you purchased it. Now, apart from that, I do not really see any problems uh, with Buy It Host. They are uh, offering a good deal for a good deal for a free service that they are providing. But again, one thing which they also lack is the support for uh, DKIM and they also uh, lack the support for uh, IMAP. They do not allow you to open up the emails on any other device. You will have to use uh, the web mail to check the emails if you're hosting your domain on this particular uh, service provider. Now the next one which is on my list is Gogi Host. Uh, now with this particular provider, the thing is they provide less space. They provide only one GB of space but the features that they offer a lot more uh, for uh, for that one particular uh, one gb of space you can easily host any wordpress website any small wordpress website 
they have unlimited disk transfer one more thing in their favor is that they support uh, the IMAP protocol so you can actually open up your emails on other devices or on Outlook uh, they also have a support for let's encrypt you can actually install let's encrypt SSL directly from their website and here as you can see you have an option to install the let's encrypt I'm not using this uh, panel anymore so I will not be able to show you how that works because you actually have to have your DNS pointing to this particular IP or their servers to actually install the let's encrypt and uh, one more good thing about this is the Gogi panel is actually a registered C panel uh, it's not just some other panel like uh, by at host they are using vista panel it's not c panel it's a vista panel it does not really make any difference but it's nice to look at and there's a lot more support available for this particular panel and also in among all these three uh, hostinger by it and gogi they all have support for uh, softaculous which is a script installer which will install any kind of script which are available widely on uh, on the internet directly to the uh, to your domain like WordPress, Zoomilla, uh, Drupal. You know you have a lot more options available. You will be able to install any kind of script directly. Uh, the only thing missing on this is the there is a little limit on the disk space and also uh, they do not have a, have a support for DKIM and root. Uh, root is not basically required everywhere but sometimes you do require root access which they do not have and also the DKYM support is not there and that's a big letdown because for SPF to work properly you must have a static IP and the Gogi website is not actually using static IP and every time you send an email out it is sent from a different IP address and that makes a lot of problem setting up an SPF, a, uh, SPF signed email and it will it would not be uh, getting recognized as a verified owner's email address and it would you know, end up in spam folder of the receiver so that's the big thing uh, that I found problematic with this Gogi panel now the service provider which is at top of my list that is uh, Amazon's AWS which is short for Amazon uh, web services now it's not exactly a a web hosting solution it is uh, like all around web services uh, which you can have on the internet uh, now they also do not directly give you uh, hosting space you actually have to kind of create your own hosting space uh, now what happens with this is that they are not giving you uh, the services for free all other uh, three service providers they all were free forever Amazon is giving few of their services for 12 months as a trial uh, now to run any website all you need is uh, like three or four services combined which you can use uh, to kind of make your own cloud VPS now for that you must have a credit card you can subscribe to their services and you can opt for the free trial which is available for 12 months and uh, if you are running the website for 12 months, I guess you will be able to pay for better services after 12 months. They also have plans for VPS, which is, uh, they call it Amazon Lite Sale. And these are the things that you get in, in those VPS, that is, if you want to use these services after 12 months also. Now, within those 12 months, what you can do with this is you get 30 uh, GB of space. You also get uh, some other spaces which are not directly linked. Uh, to web hosting now the initial transfer is 15 GB but you can increase it to additional 50 GB using some other services then again it uh, becomes a little more complicated you can have any number of email accounts because you will be installing your custom panel on Amazon uh, that might uh, be a little confusing but you can check out a lot of videos out there that would help you in installing a custom panel in web Amazon if not uh, let me know in the comments below I'll make up a video uh, for the panel that I'm using on my Amazon account now if you're installing your custom panel you can either go for a paid panel like uh, cPanel or there are a lot more free panels out there uh, which offer less support but you will be able to uh, set up a website using those panels also I for myself I'm using 
uh, Vesta panel. I will leave links in the description. The panels look something like this. Uh, now with Amazon, if you are installing your custom panel, you will be able to set up DKIM. Uh, you will have full access to root. You can install any kind of uh, SSL. You can purchase it. You can install a Let's Encrypt if your panel supports it. Also, it's a VPS. So you know exactly how much resources you have, which you can use in your website. So to sum up, the best free hosting service provider would be Amazon's AWS, wherein you actually can set up a VPS and you can run any kind of website exactly the the way you want obviously you will not be able to run a huge website because you actually get only one gb of ram within that vps and also limited uh, bandwidth but again for starters who are looking for free web hosting it should work so amazon would be the best but it is a lot more complicated for beginners you will actually have to do a lot of research if you do not want to go with all that trouble you can also go for Gogi host for a small website it should be good enough and now there are a lot of other service providers out there like if you do a simple free web hosting service provider search there are a lot of service providers out there and a lot of them would either be the resellers for hostinger or uh, buy at host so these are not uh, bad service providers but it's just that there are better options available out there and also I would like to add one thing in uh, with Hostinger, Byat and Amazon you get your account immediately with Gogi it may take around 10, 12 even up to 20 days I got my account in like 18 days so keeping all these things in mind I would say Amazon is the best service provider right now second goes to Gogi host and the close third would be Byat host I hope I was able to help you with all this information I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.